So speaking of turning back the clock, let's turn back the clock just a little bit on your career. Uh, 40 years, you uh, you played at Northern Iowa, you coached at uh, St. Ambrose and then and then at Drake. Uh, and what's fascinating, I was do in doing a little homework. You can chart your career by A, the outfits. <laughs> uh, anyway, <laughs> you, uh, you hold the Iowa and Big Ten record uh, with 528 wins against 254 losses. Uh, 18 appearances in the NCAA tournament at Iowa. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, two NCAA championship game appearances. Uh, when you look back, what, what impact do you hope your legacy uh, has had? What, what is it that you hope you've, you've, you've left behind? I hope a couple of things. One is I hope that we were a part of growing this great game. As you said, Sally, Women's basketball is the best teacher. It's the best experience for life lessons, for success as you leave the university. It's the best teaching tool that we could possibly have, in my opinion. So I hope that we helped grow this game. I hoped we exposed this game for how great it is and that the eyeballs that we attracted are going to continue to grow uh, and that we were a part of that. To me, that's really exciting. Um, that more people want to be involved in it, that more people want to watch it, that more people respect it. Um, on a more personal note, for me, I hope my legacy is that I've left a lot of women in a better position um, to have success the rest of their lives in whatever they do, whether you know that's being a coach themselves or being you know going into education or business or being a doctor. And um, so I, I just hope that my legacy is that I've left those young women in a better position to handle the rest of the things that they're gonna face the rest of their lives.